with the top news across the campus of Marshall University in the W. Page Pitt School of Journalism and Mass Communications, JMC TV presents MU Report. Hello, and thanks for joining us for this special weather edition of MU Report. I'm Tasha Esselstein. And I'm Austin Johnson. This newscast is a student-produced production of the W. Page Pitt School of Journalism and Mass Communications at Marshall University. Now, on to our top story. A spate of tornado warnings and violent spring weather swept through Marshall's main campus and South Charleston locations Tuesday. High winds and heavy rain caused damage, cut power, and disrupted campus activity. That is what Marshall students heard Tuesday morning when severe weather roared through the Huntington area, causing power outages tri-statewide. So I get in my car, start driving down the driveway, and immediately it starts downpouring. And I'm out here, I stopped at a red light, and trying to turn onto Hall Greer so I can come to the student center. And all of a sudden, it is like absolutely downpouring. I can't see in front of me. There are trees flying everywhere, sparks flying from the telephone poles. My car is shaking, and I'm like, Oh my gosh, like, am I going to make it to the student center? I'm so close. Marshall officials mandated students to shelter in place, leaving many students to seek refuge in the basement of the student center. Some students depicted blame toward Marshall's lack of response amid anticipation of dangerous weather. I think they could have prepared a little bit better for it because I know, like, classes aren't canceled today still, and, like, um... Like I have friends who came in the student center like while everything was going on saying they just got out of like a class where the tornado warning went off and the teacher was like, presentations keep going. While others told Emmy Report there was not much more preparation the university could have done. The thing about tornadoes, especially tornadoes when it comes to severe weather is that they're unpredictable. They could be going one way, then all of a sudden they'll make a J curve and go down another, another street toward another city. So, I mean, don't get me wrong, I am very glad that they handled it as calmly as they did. After threats and warnings of a second wave approaching the campus area, nothing much more but lighter storms appeared, bringing relief to many people worried of further damage taking place. Austin Johnson, ME Report. I'm Tasha Eselstein, and I'm standing right here in the basement of the Memorial Student Center where students were forced to take shelter after a tornado warning sounded across campus. I'm here with Tim, who was outside when the strong winds began. Tim, what was going through your mind when this was all happening? At first, I thought it was all a joke, but then the Starbucks ladies and the Chick-fil-A workers, they all started telling everybody to get downstairs and go to shelter in the basement. And it's packed. It's obviously packed in here, so I got nervous. And also, you know, I pray I don't have class today because I'm not going to that rain or that wind. We hope all Marshall students are being safe. Tasha Esselstein, MU Report. A large number of Marshall students were stuck in the student center because of the tornado warning. However, some students on campus encountered other challenges during the storm, as Trevor Smith reports. A storm rampaged across Marshall University's campus yesterday, damaging parts of the school. The storm began an hour before noon, bringing high winds that tore large limbs from trees and standing water at many areas. One classroom in Corby Hall had a window fly open due to the wind spraying the room with rainwater. It was just a really unpleasant experience. <laughs> Maybe add more latches to the windows so they don't <laughs> blow open. A power surge in the same building left a woman stuck in the elevator where she had to wait for the Huntington Fire Department to come rescue her. <laughs> Yay! During the storm, a shelter in place was ordered for Marshall's campus where students were told to stay low and avoid windows. I was actually in the science building when it happened. So they sent us all down to the uh, basement of the science building. We were down there for about 15 to 30 minutes. It seemed to be pretty wild outside. Students in their dorms in the towers had to move to the lobby where they waited for an all clear from the university. It was really chaotic and there were a lot of people with cats at the lobby of Twin Towers and the cats weren't happy. So if the cats weren't happy, how are we expected to be happy? 
After the storm let up in the clear skies with sunshine came out, the cleanup process was able to begin. Here at the 3rd Avenue parking garage, water is still standing at the crosswalk behind me, but there's not nearly as much as there was just an hour ago where students were wading through in ankle deep spots. Even in the garage, there was lights flashing and car alarms going off due to the high wind. Trevor Smith, MU Report. The weather event was damaging enough to keep the South Charleston campus closed the next day. Time's up for this edition of MU Report. Our director is Emma Gallus and our executive producer is Bria Smith. Again, this show and its contents are created by students in the W. Page Pitt School of Journalism and Mass Communications. MU Report is a television lab and we are glad you're watching. You can always catch this new ca newscast on YouTube and be sure to follow us on Instagram at JMC underscore TV. I'm Tasha Esselstein. And I'm Austin Johnson. Have a great day and stay safe.